form of darkness. Praise God. Now verse 6, let's see verse 6, we'll stop to verse 7. In verse 6 it says, if we say that we have, we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. Now the Bible says, if somebody says that he has fellowship with light, if somebody says he has fellowship with God, but the person is walking in darkness, the Bible says that the person is telling lies, that the person does not obey the truth. Praise God. Now, for us to have relationship with God, we need to walk in the light because God is light. That was what Jesus was saying when he was speaking in John chapter 8 verse 12 where he says, I am the light of the world and anyone who walks with me, anyone who follows me should not walk in darkness but shall have light which is life. Praise God. So walking with God, having fellowship with God, having relationship with God, demands that we must walk in light and not in darkness because God is light and in Him there is no form of darkness. Praise God. Verse 7, verse 7, verse 7. Look at verse 7, it's very wonderful. He says, but if we walk in the world, in the light, as he is where in the light, we have what? Fellowship one with another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all what? See, when we talk about light, we are talking about truth. And when we talk about darkness, we are talking about sin. Now, when somebody is walking in, in the light, it means that the person has said no to sin. Are you, are you, are you, are we communicating? It means that the person has said what? No to sin. Now, the person is now walking in the truth, living by the truth. That means you must have to accept the truth, accept the word of God, and get the word of God as a believer. You must know the word of God as a believer. You don't assume that you know the word of God. You must know the word of God. Because the word of God is that truth. And that truth is the light. Am I communicating? So it is not possible for somebody to walk in light without knowing the truth. Praise God. It's not possible to walk in the light without knowing the truth because the truth is the light. Am I communicating? Yes. The light is the truth. And that truth is the word of God. So for you to walk in the light of the truth, as a child of God, you must know the truth. So it is not something you assume to have known. It is something you must passionately and desperately from your heart, you pursue the word of God. As a believer, your foundation is built on the truth. Any child of God who doesn't know the truth will not have a solid foundation. Because the truth is the rock. Jesus said, he says, Peter, you are the rock. Upon this rock I build my what? My church. And the gates of hell shall not do what? Prevail against it. So the rock, which is the word, which is the truth, is the foundation of Christianity. So any child of God who doesn't know the word of God, his or her life will be shaken. Praise God. Now, let's see Matthew chapter 5, 14 to 16. Matthew chapter 5, 14 to 16. Look at this. Let's read it one. 
expected to shine and bring illumination. We are to radiate and bring light to the world. What is world? The world. I'm not talking about world of God. I'm talking about the world. The world is a representation of darkness. Praise God. Am I teaching you? The world is a, represent a representation of darkness. Now the Bible says we are the light of the world. Search upon the hills and should not be hidden. So child of God, you should not cover your light. Your light must shine before all men so that others can see through you. Through you. We must shine before all men. What does it mean to shine before all men? By character, by attitude. Philippians chapter 1 verse 5 says, Let the same kind of attitude that was in Christ be in you. So when we when we say that we are the light of the world, that we should shine before all men, it means that our attitude, our character, our lifestyle, the way we live, the way we dress, the way we talk, the way we act, must represent the kingdom of light. We cannot say we are children of the light, but our life is representing the kingdom of darkness. Praise God. Praise God. The world is in full of darkness. The world is in full of darkness. And we are light. It means that we're supposed to give this world direction. Our life is supposed to give this world direction. And not the world giving our lives direction. We are to give this world direction. And not this world be Against you, darkness should 
way to those that are walking in darkness. Shout hallelujah. Now listen to this. I said, you are the light of the world. You must bring illumination. Shine. To shine for those in darkness. To see. In order. Now listen to this. When the Bible says shine before all men. He's talking about those who are living in darkness. And, and you know when you enter your room. And your room is full of darkness. Will you see clearly? Praise God. If you enter inside your room. And there's no light. Will you see clearly? You will not see clearly. But the moment the light comes. What happens? You begin to see things. The way they are easy to. So when the Bible says we should shine before all men. Look at you, even if the best. 